person. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, as you can tell today, we're doing what I eat in a day. I've got here one of those little sachet of oats, 15 grams of, roughly 15 grams of peanut butter, and a standard cup of tea for an Englishman. Love this in about an hour. We'll lace up, we'll go for our run. I think we're on about four miles, four mile run today is in my schedule. So we'll see how we get on with that. Put the macros up on the screen here so everyone can see. Just walk past the banana, so I'm going in for one of them as well, because you can't go wrong with fruit. And it'll help anyway. Four mile run done. 27 minutes, 49 seconds. Average pace, 6.57. First run in a while, that uh, It's probably just gonna, kids need feeding. Get back on it, sort of lunch out. I'll show you what I got. Push. So I get back to run. First thing I do, is I grab a bottle of water to start my day. Two litres of water a day. I think if you don't have two litres of water a day, you just feel shit really, to be honest. At least I do. One scoop of creatine every day. Help give you that little bit of push at the end of every workout. One scoop of impact whey, protein. Yeah, I'm in no way trying to get bigger or stronger or anything you would associate protein powder with. But it just helps maintain your muscles. It's like all my leg muscles, obviously. If I didn't get in the right amount every day, then just, you don't eat enough food, your body deplete. Plus it helps with muscle recovery after any workout or run. So it's just that little something extra. Plus it also makes you feel like you're doing something right. I don't know what it is. Every time you have a protein shake, you feel after a workout or run, you just feel like that's that's what you need. <laughs> but yeah, it just helps with muscle recovery mainly. That's what I use it for. But yeah, I use the cookie and cream powder. The last batch I got, you have to shake it for like 10 seconds, and it all dissolves. This batch is like it's a good minute. But yeah, neck that. Put the chicken in now, go have a shower. By the time I get out, that'll be ready. Play out lunch. Right, so for lunch, chicken burger, small amount of mayo, lentil curls, one Granny Smith apple. Just, I don't like to eat too big after a run either. I save my big meal for dinner time because I just can't. I wouldn't be able to eat it really after running. I don't like eating big before or after, just just me. I'm going to town run a few errands, got the birthdays coming up. Uh, eat this. Let's have a little dig in, shall we? You know, some people. Some people watch people eat. That's really good. It's like a KFC burger. That's how good these are. From Lidl. No, Aldi. Aldi, from Aldi. Damn, they're good. I'll put the macros up on the screen somewhere. And I will see you at dinner. Back with another little snack because I just found out we are going for a little mini road trip to do a little something, something you'll see in the next clip. But for this, we have got there's Wolfie. We have got two crumpets, uh, one all butter scone with a little bit of butter on top and some jam, just 10 grams of butter, a little bit of like two grams of jam on top. So yeah, put macros up for this little snack. Just a little something before we go out. Do a bit of exercise, a bit of fun activity. Hopefully the next clip will be a nice little montage of what I'm about to go and do. So see you after this, it will be dinner time. So I'll see you then, peace. We are, we 
I suppose you want to say that little snappy poo I had earlier. That tennis was unexpected, but oh, it felt so good to be back on a tennis court. It was fucking. Oh, I absolutely love tennis, but I, tennis and football. I say tennis has just got edgy for me. It's something about it. it's just oh, it's top notch. Absolutely love playing it. Always have. But yeah, me and number four, pretty much a whole head of broccoli. 250 grams sweet potato fries, beef medallion, steak, and a little bit, little baguette for an extra bit of carb because of the extra activity done today. Just a little boost up meal. Put the macros on the screen there again. I tuck into this now and uh, finish this up, and then I think all we've got left to eat today is dessert, and we'll see what that is in a bit. Bosh. Right, so that's all my meals for today. Done and dusted. Just gonna finish the day off with cookie from Lidl that I got for the kids out there that they didn't eat. Just a little extra treat. I uh, can easily take it. I've got a little bit extra calories left over and some macros left. And I did tennis today as well as running, so I've got more than enough space to fit that in. And I normally have a Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi. I prefer Pepsi. Diet Pepsi every evening as well. It was a little treat for myself. I don't normally have the cookie. I just got to finish off. A little bit of water, that's all I've got left in there for me two litres. So that's my day finished with, let me look on the phone, 3,124 calories with 166 grams of protein, 365 grams of carbs and 107 grams of fat. I wouldn't be that high normally, but I've thrown the cookie in there. That's not what any of you need to be eating in any way, shape or form. That's just roughly what I eat to maintain with the exercise that I do, because I run like four to five times a week. But I'm using a lot anyway. Then the hard runs, the solid runs. Sometimes, like the, you've seen, I can do me, me shorter runs, I do quite reasonably fast. And then me long runs, I try and push them as hard as I can. So I'm always sweating, I'm always burning calories, putting pressure out there. But this is not what anyone else needs to do, this is just what I do personally. I could probably drop it less to around the 26, 2700 mark, but I was living in Spain, I used to work in the kitchen, and uh, obviously you work in the kitchen in Spain, it gets hot. So I used to be around like 11 stone, low 11 stones, 
and I'm like really happy with the way I'm looking around 13 stone. So that's what I uh, somewhat maintain. Now if I was to go to a gym and start working them out, that amount of calories and macros would be more than enough for me to be able to like grow big and strong like everyone else at the gym. I wouldn't have to like change my diet at all too much. The only thing my diet probably does miss is a bit more fibre through fruit and veg. But yeah, that's me done anyway. That is pretty much what I eat on the daily. Obviously, that steak every day. I switch that up for like a chicken meal or something. But um, breakfast and lunch is pretty much the same every day. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I think I mentioned earlier, but uh, put it down in the comment section below how I could improve on these videos. It's the first one I've done, so I want to. I don't feel like it flows properly to the way I want it to. So if you can give me any tips or ways that you want to see it, I can do it in the future. It'll be a lot better. Last couple of videos, the views have been really well, and uh, follow me on this journey of like improving health, fitness. I do start doing like tips and tricks of how to improve your times for your runs and you know what footwear to use. Start growing the channel with positive and beneficial is the word I'm for beneficial information to help people improve, you know, their health and fitness, your health and fitness, improve, uh, hopefully improve your health and fitness, improve your lifestyle. So yeah, that's all for me. Please you know, like the video, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will catch you in the next one. And the next one, I will be 25, because my birthday's coming up, so probably involve something around that. So anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. See you next time. Peace.